Okay. <clears throat> We're gonna be doing the uh, the seasonal armor review. So in three, two, one. Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're going to be looking at the seasonal armor. I finally got all of the pieces for the season pass ornaments. And dude, these armor sets are pretty weird. Like, it's definitely going to be an acquired taste similar to the uh, season of the Worthy armor set. And definitely season of the Arrival set. I think those two specific armor sets were very like divided like some people oh i really like these and some people were like these are dog shit and like season of dawn is like just a perfect example of like armor that like pretty much everyone likes uh so this is the basic bitch of the hunter i like it i think i like the hat a little bit more like this right here i think i like that a little bit more on the hunter and on this one specifically instead of the the one we actually got but let's see how it actually shaders before i start going so we'll go with the orange and white one, which I think looks really cool, especially if you want to go an all white look. Unfortunately, you will have a little bit of orange, but that does look really cool. Let's go with the new Iron Banner shader, which looks all right. This armor does shader pretty well, in my opinion. I mean, I've seen worse for sure, but overall, I think that does look pretty cool sometimes. And let's go with the Armatura, which I don't like the blue. Other than that, it looks pretty cool. And then last but not least, let's do Precursor Vex Chrome, which that looks really cool. Yeah, that looks fire. So again, I, I am a fan of this armor set and I definitely can use it in some aspects, but I think the chest piece is very lacking considering this like skirt thing is part of the chest piece. That's not boots. Uh, I think the arms are really cool, especially if you want to go something that doesn't have armor because this doesn't have like plate armor which I'm a big fan of. Uh, the cloak is okay. Uh, this top here is like, I said, I know I said I like it, but at the same time, I don't just cause it looks like the, like the, uh, the opposite side of a, f a shark fin. And ever since I saw that, I was like, cool. It looks goofy now to me. Uh, I do like the hanging here. I do like the actual helmet. The helmet itself, I think is really cool, which is weird. Cause I hate the helmet for, for the seasonal one. Or what am I doing? Shader. I actually do kind of like this a lot. I haven't seen it without the hood, but I definitely like how it looks. So let's look at the actual shade or the ornaments. So I'm going to tell you right now that I'm very happy with the armor set because it changes a lot of the armor set. It's not like other season pass armor sets where it's basically just giving you like two or three changes. This changes a lot, like a fuck ton. So let's go to this armor set and I'll show you what they actually do change. So first and foremost, they actually give us uh, the leather part here, the leather part here with this thing right there. They give us this piece. They give us the horns here. And if I remember, yeah, they give us like this leather piece here with these things here like it changes a good amount of it and uh, that makes me happy because it doesn't feel lazy to me like it definitely feels oh wait 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 wait. oh unfortunate this is part of the legs <sighs> that's unfortunate i i'm not a big fan of this uh but whatever i still think this one is cool enough where i i kind of don't mind it I'm a big fan of when they actually make the armor change in a very different way instead of just like an armor piece where it just changes one or two things or adds one or two things. Uh, same thing with the chest piece. It does give you a good amount of things. What am I doing? I'm a fucking potato. I need to go to the other one. This one. So this one, you have all of this. And then once you change it to the other one, which is over here, you actually get just a new piece in general. Uh, it's still under there, but you get a new armor piece, uh, ammo, and then this right here, plus this weird thing right here that looks kind of like an oxygen thing. And then the back also changes as well. I'm a big fan of this, which is why I like this armor set. It changes a lot of stuff for each armor set, not just the hunters. It's for the Titans as well. God damn it. And again, I am a big fan of when they do this because it feels like they're actually putting effort into the armor 
And yeah, this one's specifically cool because it adds this cool thing here, adds these right here, adds a new layer for the leather. Same thing for this, you actually get this right here as well. There's like a good amount of things that actually change for this armor. And it makes me happy because it looks cool as fuck. At least for me, I know this is gonna be a very like a huge, like, oh, this is an acquired taste type of thing. The only thing I don't like from the hunters is the helmet. I think the helmet is like the weakest part. It's bad. Like, I don't care who you are. It looks gross. I'm not a big fan of it. Um, yeah. And obviously this is exactly like the helmet from the bitch, uh, the basic bitch season pass armor or not the season, the seasonal armor. It just has a plate, a helmet or a plate in front now, but I'm not a big fan of it and I will never use this helmet. What I am using though is the is the cloak or more realistic more realistically it's just the hood. I am a big fan of this. I don't know if you guys know, but I've been wanting a cloakless hood thing for a while, and I'm happy that we finally have one. And the cool thing is, actually, I'll show you a sneak peek of how my hunter looks right now. But I'm a big fan of it. It looks super cool. It has this like Eastern armor piece look especially the arms I, I won't go into too much depth but basically the the arms gives off the like uh what is it japanese uh archer vibe because if you guys don't know japanese archers they would have like a kimono or whatever they, they call it. i forgot what the actual name is called but one side is like they have all the kimono up basically this right here and it actually would have to be a different area so like let's say this uh, kimono part would actually go all the way down to the arm and then this piece would be actually naked so realistically it would be like this one right here this one this one would make more sense uh which i probably will switch but yeah that'll be for that video let's go on to the titan so this is my titan uh again this is a sneak peek of like the the armor sets that i'm going to showcase for when i do that but this is how he looks she looks so far and i'm loving it let's go to the actual thing of the video and that's not it this one is so this is the armor set for the titan i am not the biggest fan of it for the helmet and i think that's pretty much it i think the helmet's like the only weird thing about it but even still like i still think the helmet looks good uh I do like this armor set a lot, mostly because it gives you pieces that we can use for our Titans, specifically like the arms. If you want to have something that makes your Titan look small, this, the arms are going to definitely be cool. The chest piece, I think, is like the la the one that's like the least uh, or the one that I would probably never use. The helmet still has its uses like for an Eastern uh, like Eastern or East asian or eastern asian look you definitely can do something with that which is why like i'm definitely excited for it uh the cloak i like the or I, I like the mark the mark looks really fucking cool i love it a lot i love marks that are like this very so, so ceremonial and big and then the boots i'm a big fan of the boots mostly because uh there's not a lot of plate armor aside from like the top here and then the bottom here so like very not a lot of uh armor pieces that have a lot of uh plate pieces so i'm a really big fan of this armor set and it shaders pretty well uh just kind of like the hunter this piece really does shader really well but they do have a little bit more orange to them for here which means that they have a little bit more plate armor but that's usually good for titans and then i just want to immediately go to the main bulk of the new set which i all right so let's get some things out of the way i love the mark I, the mark is cool they give you these things here i will tell you that does not change that much but it changes enough for me that i'm like this is good enough for me that i'm not that like i'm not mad at all actually uh as you guys can see we get a bigger uh, mark in the front we get these things here it, it changes and i like it and i'm using this so far as you guys saw from uh, earlier the boots they do change as well we do get more stuff in it as well the plate uh get bigger not only that the colors are different i am a big fan of this the legs specifically because i can use it on like one of my favorite marks not this one but it's uh where are you i think i this one right here 
which means I can probably use this for this and it's gonna look really cool. Overall, I like I like the legs a lot. The chest piece is the one piece that I do not like at all. The chest itself looks boring, and then this weird tripod-looking thing. Why? Why? I don't I don't understand why Titans need stuff like that. Like, why are you doing that? I know they like Titans have another chest piece that's like this in the. I'll show you guys right now. And I don't know why Bungie does it. It's weird as fuck, but whatever. This one, like, why? Although it, this one does look better, I'll give you that. This does look cooler, but at the same time, just like, why? It looks weird. When everyone first saw this armor, we were thinking it was gonna be an exotic, but no, it's just part of the armor set. And this one, I think, is like the grossest one. Like, why? I just don't understand. If you like it, hey man, more power to you, but I just think it looks dumb as hell. The arms, uh, I'm I'm kind of 50-50 on it. On one hand, I do like it, but on the other hand, I wish that this right here was either not there or on both sides. I like asymmetrical, but I feel like this armor piece would have been really good if it was on both sides, or if they made it kind of like how uh, Zavala's uh, arms are, where it's like this really big piece of like armor in one of his shoulders and the other one's not like that at all. It just feels like it should have been on both sides, but that's very nitpicky on my part, which is like something that's why I'm not like super mad about it because very nitpicky. I just wish we could have the option to have it on both sides because then at that point it would be a lot cooler. But again, like I said, it does, does actually change the armor in a very real way. We get a new armor piece here. We get this piece, the underlying armor piece right there. We get other stuff as well. I'm happy that the armor sets from the season pass are not just, they just added one and two things here and there. It actually does put different armor pieces on different pieces. So I'm really happy about that. And last but not least, the helmet. I think the helmet is like nasty. It's bad. I don't like it at all. And I know what they were going for. I'm not blind. I know what they were going for, but it's just no, dude. Just no. I'm I'm not a fan of it. If you like it, hey man, more power to you. But I'm not a fan of it. Uh, I did try to combine it with the armor sets that I had. The this right here, but I just did not like how it came out. Like it looks weird, very weird. And again, I'm just, I probably will never use this helmet, which is unfortunate because I do like it, but at the same time, I will never wear it because I just don't like it on my hunt or my Titan. Again, it looks really fucking weird, but more power to you if you would want to wear it. I just, no. So let's go to the Warlock final character. And, uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I didn't want to change the shaders or any of that so that you guys can see like what the shader actually looks like and whatnot. With, and the cool thing is for the this armor set, what's it called? For the Legatus, 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 whatever. That armor set, uh, you can actually get the shader. It is actually this one right here, the Testudo. So... If you were wondering if you could wear that armor set, it's actually the Testudo uh, shader, if I remember correctly. Should be the Testudo shader, not that one. Let me see. Because we, we do get it in the season pass, if I remember correctly. Oh, it might be this one. No, it's the Testudo. It's this one. So you do get this in the season pass so if you want to like match, match your that shader or you just like that shader then don't worry you'll get this so let's get on to the last one which oh man let me tell you i was a fan i i wanted to like this but it's i don't like this part it's un, uneven but i still like it because it makes the character look like a chancellor like an Asian chancellor. I read a lot of like Japanese, basically Asian, like uh, manga and mangua and whatever Chinese people call theirs. And this looked super familiar to me. And I was like, I like this, this looks cool. At the same time, I don't like it, but it's really weird. I like it and don't like it. Uh, the arms, I mean, it's a, it's a warlock. Arms are kind of boring and basic. The chest piece itself, I think is bad. 
I'm not a fan of it. Again, I understand what they're going for. They're going for like a Mongolian Eastern looking armor set. And it does look like it does look it like I'm not going to front. It does look like it. But I don't know. Maybe it looks better on a, on a male, but on a, on a female, it just looks odd. I think the boots are probably the coolest part because uh, they make the warlock look like I don't know slick, which is really weird because like the chest piece is just bulky as shit, and then the bond is just like a basic bitch bond. I don't know what else to tell you. Let's look how it shades though. So let's do this one of my favorite shaders, and it shades pretty well. I mean, hopefully it shades pretty well. Shader, I just don't like that shader. Shader is bad. Uh, let's do this one again. Blue. I may have picked the wrong shit. Well, I didn't pick the shaders. I just had them here. Testudo, which I just showed you guys. And then War Weary, which is the Vanguard one. Damn, this one almost has no orange. It's just two, three, and then this one right here. This one looks cool though. Even the boots don't have orange. Actually, here, but that's like barely in damn, that's cool. So let's go to the actual season, seasonal ornament. Just so I don't like, this is like the worst of them all in my opinion. Like aside from like a few pieces, obviously like chess piece I'll probably never wear. Uh, helmet I will never wear. I can guarantee you I will never wear this. Uh, the boots though, I love the boots. I love the arms. Uh, the bond is pretty cool. It looks like a weapon straight up and I'm a little happy about it. But again, like, I think this armor set would have been very good if we had like something up here, like armor pieces up here, not balls. I'm not a fan of the balls. And it's cool. Cause you have a, like, there's so much to it. It's just unfortunate that I just don't like it at all. I mean, people will probably like it. It's just not my taste. Uh, it's the balls, honestly. I'm not a fan of the balls. The balls are weird. But overall, I'm okay with it. I definitely think the Warlocks lose, like, out of everyone. I think the Hunters win it far, like, by far. The Titan's helmet's just bad. And there's this one's just bad, in my opinion. As again, aside from, like, the actual pieces that I actually do like, like, I think the boots with this is going to look really cool. Uh, actually, this one. This one looks cool as well. Like, I like everything but, like, the helmet and, and the... Like, everything else is fine. Even the bonds, like, it looks cool. The boots are definitely my favorite part from it. Because not only does, like, it look cool, but it actually shaders pretty well as well. So, like, I love how that looks. Like, what the fuck? That looks super cool. It's just unfortunate that this has orange on the back, but dude, they're, ooh, this looks, this looks fucking fire. Yeah, it's just unfortunate. I never really expect Warlocks to have any good armor. And it's just like, why? Like, whoever designed this, I'm just not about it. Like, really, like, I'm not saying you should get fired, but damn like i wouldn't be opposed if you getting rid of because this looks bad but again this is very uh, objective if you like it then i mean all power to you my guy like what I'm, my opinion is not going to change yours I'm happy you like it but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media links are in the description below i will be doing more videos and more weapon reviews because uh there's a bunch of stuff so i will see you guys later